Hello everybody, this is a quick video on my experience of bulk loading. So I decided that I would use a bit of birthday money to buy a bulk loader. There's lots of different versions available. I really like the idea of getting this one uh, because it's got a dial on the front that tells you how much film is left on your bulk roll of film. If you don't know what bulk loading is, basically instead of buying film on little canisters like this and paying... I mean, what's the least you could pay? Probably three, four pounds for one of, for a roll of film, but probably more. You know, the prices are going up all the time. How do you, how can you shoot film for the absolute cheapest possible? Well, one is develop your own film. Obviously, keep the developing costs down, which I now do and love. But the other thing you can do to keep the cost down is roll your own rolls of film. So you buy a great big roll of film and you put it in a machine like this or there are other machines that look very different but they do the same job um, and you roll out your own film so you go oh, put 36 photos on a roll of film and then you can go out and shoot it well, and you put 10 roll 10 photos on a roll of film and I'll, I'll go out and shoot that and if you buy in bulk so a hundred foot of film um, it and you can buy I think you can buy like um, half that 50 feet of film as well but if you buy 100 foot of film you're getting about 18 to 20 rolls of film out of that and i did the math and i looked at how much it costs to buy 18 to 20 rolls of film normally versus buying it in bulk and roughly speaking depending on the film you know triax is going to be quite expensive in bulk uh, but it's still going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than buying tri 20 rolls of triax separately but certainly Ilford and Fomapan, if you're buying 100 foot of it, it's about, these end up about £2 a roll, something like that, maybe a little bit more. But it's about half the price of what you would normally pay uh, if you buy your film in bulk and roll it yourself. So really quickly, I just, uh, I'll do another video probably where I go into it in a bit more detail. But this is what I got. And in the box, you get this, and you get a little handle that goes in here, like that. It clicks in, and you, um, I've already put my film in the back, but basically you buy a bulk film, it comes in a box, you put the box in your changing bag, and you open, because you've got to do it all in darkness, and you put this in the changing bag as well, and then in the dark, you open the box and you take out the, the wheel of film, which is sort of a similar size to this, a bit smaller. And you, you place it in here and you take the, the end of the film. And there's a slot on the inside here behind this wheel. And you feed this through the slot uh, and it comes up. If I take the handle out, I'll show you. There you go. So you're feeding it through the slot uh, and then once you've got your, your, your leader fed through and it's sort of poking out here, you use this little this little twiddly knob here and that, uh, you'll see if I turn that, that uh, clockwise it kind of pushes the film out so you're feeding it through and you're turning this little thing here and it feeds it through and then you drop the, once you've got that fed through, you drop it onto the central spool, like a record on a record player, drop that on and you tighten the back up and now it's light tight. And it's light tight even with this door open because there's kind of like a very tight groove that the film goes through with some sort of felt on it. So it keeps it all nice and light tight. And then you can roll out your film onto the canisters and roll your own film. But, uh, I thought what I would do is just kind of, if I can, uh, and I might do it in another video in a bit more detail, is show you how you get the, once you've done that bit, which I'll probably do in another video, how you go get the film onto a canister. So this one is one I rolled earlier. So it is actually Ilford HP5, but I've just put it in a really old Ilford HP5 canister. So kind of top tip, these old canisters, if you ever see any, or you find one in an old camera and you're going to throw it away because you, you know you go to the charity shop and you find find this left in an old camera so anything like these what you want to keep them and the reason why is that they changed the design years ago but the old ones you can 
click the top off. Hang on, I'm making a hash of it now. Hang on, and it just comes off. Do, 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 do. Like that, that's it. You just get it in the right spot, and it comes off. Uh, or you can use the the thing that you like the bottle opener, and it'd be a lot easier actually than you trying to use a tiny screwdriver. But you use a little bottle opener, and you take the top off, and then you've got the spool inside. And then when you've finished doing the job, uh, these old ones were designed that you can just and they just click back on. That's perfect, right? So uh, take that off again. There we go. So that's off again. So it's a nice metal reusable canister, and that's how they used to design them. So it's really worth if you can pick some of these up, keeping these or getting them. The alternative is you can buy for not too much money little plastic ones like this, and these have a little screw on top, goes like that, and it works in exactly the same way, uh, except it's got a little screw on top. So that's probably easier to use. But there's something lovely about using these little vintage canisters with the little metal click on tops. So what you do is, and I've put a little reminder sticker here because it needs to be that, that needs to be on this end, not this end. So that's just there to remind me. Okay. So it needs to go on like that. So first of all, you need a bit of tape. And then you can use sort of any tape, really. I'm using Durapol because I sort of have faith that this is going to really hold the film on. So what you do is you basically put it on like that. And then you want to tape that to this, making sure it's this end on this side. So you go like this, and you, which is sort of hard to do when you're recording a video. And that's now taped on, like that. And just check that's on, yeah, that's on. Okay, brilliant, right. So then I take this and I, slot that through the feed that through the slot on there so that goes on like that that's now in i then put my canister lid back on so you normally have to sort of pinch the canister a bit to get it on it can be a bit of a job doing it at this angle whilst recording a video uh, is that on? Come on. There we go, that's on. There we go, so let's have a look at that. So that is taped to the inside of there, like that. So then I use the little thing on the front and I wind this back in a bit until it's there. Okay, and then put the lid down like that. And then I pop the little cranky handle thing in and it clicks in. So it's, uh, you get it at the right angle, it'll click. Hang on, because there's like a groove on the handle. Uh, there we go, that's clicked in. So it's gone all the way in there, you see like that? Okay, so then I set this to 12 o'clock, the little white arrow. There is actually, and you can see, a little arrow there. You want to line them up. I might paint that little arrow white, actually, so it's easier to read. On some of these models, they are. Kaiser do, uh, this is called the AP bulk loader. Kaiser also do this exact identical one, but they call it Kaiser. And on their one, they've actually painted that a little bit white, so I'm gonna do the same. Right, so my canister's in. With the handle pushed all the way in and clicked in like that, I can now not open the lid. So there is no way I can screw this up and expose light to the film whilst that handle is in there. And so now that's set to zero. This is telling me I've already done. Can you see here? It's not off. Um, it's just off the 100%, 100 meters. So it's just off that. So that's because I've already rolled one roll of film. 
And if I wanted to reset that, I'd pull this down. There's a little thing here and it resets that timer back to 100 meters. Okay, so let's roll some film onto the spool that's in there. So you just do clockwise like this. Keep going. And I'm going to keep going till I get back to the white arrow. And I think that will be 36 shots. So I've now ran that on. So I take that out and I go like this. And I open it up and then I use the little thing on there and I uh, turn it clockwise and it just pushes that out a bit like there. And I snip the film and close the lid, pop the handle back in. And that is now light tight. And I now have my second roll of film. So then the final thing to do, which you can see I've done here, is just to cut off a leader, which is doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to get something approximating that kind of shape. And you've rolled your own film. So this actually says FP4 on it, but I know that's got HP5 because that's what I bought was bulk HP5. Uh, thank you very much. If you're enjoying these videos, like and subscribe and I will make more.